Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for this Sunday night episode. How to build F-18 Hornet, baby. Okay guys, this took a little bit of work. Okay, I took both these pieces out. I just had this piece tacked in, tack glued in, you know, or it's just sitting there, I don't think. I don't think I had it glued in. But I took it out and I took some CA, I held them together and put some, just a couple drops around the perimeter. And then I drilled my holes for my dowel. Okay, now every time this goes on, it's going on the exact same way, same place, nice snug fit. And then I just kept uh, putting this on. I had to sand these. There's a couple ridges in here of resin. I had to sand down. I had to sand all that smooth. But, you know, I had to sand it anyway. But, uh, so to get her smooth. we glue something on here guys we got to sand because that smooth and shiny resin and uh, glue just don't stick to it very well so we got to sand it now I uh, just kept putting it on there guys lining up my seams and find the places that were sticking up to take it back off and sanding them I had two or three places. All this up in here, because see how the resins build up right there. Uh, that took a little, little work to just get it just absolutely perfect. All right, now I'm ready to glue this on. Okay, and I don't want to get my high saw nipple dirty for just this one little glue joint so I'm going to make a small pastry bag alright that's how I do it guys take my magazine that I get every month pull off some tape stick it down right there and the more epoxy you mix up the more pages if I'm doing a a, a bit large amount of epoxy I either like to use the cover or at least four pages okay tear it off Put it back on your magazine sticky side up. Make sure I got a stick ready. I can use this set jig. Okay. Put me a little pile of resin right there. Okay. Mix her up and keep it in that small area. But get it mixed good. Okay, I fold it over like so, then squish your resin into that corner. Roll it up. If you got a lot of epoxy in there, I really like to take these ends up, but bam. You can do large amounts, you can do small amounts. Okay, now, I did this because I want a nice, smooth bead on here, guys, because I do not want to gush resin everywhere. Okay. I just want to put a nice little bead right on the end. Is what we don't want to happen is we don't want to glue this all together. You know what I mean? I 
We just want a nice bead of glue right on that end. Now this will end up attaching like my Tomcat with a bolt on the end of it. So this won't actually be holding it on the airplane, but we still want a nice glue joint. Man, them cowboys, that was a tough loss today. Whew. Good game. How can you score so many points and lose? <laughs> Robo got to have a 500-yard day and lost. Remember when old Marino used to get big numbers like that and lose? <laughs> because he had to get big numbers. All right, guys, we don't want to mess around we gotta get this just because we don't want epoxy slopped everywhere we don't want to glue this plate onto the fuselage see this one we don't want to glue that to the fuselage all right so we want this to be one clean smooth motion slip it right on and get her taped. Okay, hold your breath. Bam, just like that. It's a tiny crack over here. So I'm going to use something tiny. Try to anyway. Get that glue out of that edge. Bam, and it's a perfect fit. This is cut a little short on the top, you know, because that panel line wasn't exactly even. But once I pull it back off, I'll put a little bondo on that lip, sand a square corner on it. It'll look beautiful. Bam. Been nasty all weekend here, and oh, I want to go out and fly that F4 tomorrow. Oh, that looks beautiful. I mean, not this weekend, and this nasty weather, and windy, out yeah, of the northwest, out of Afton. The west wind is the worst because we got them trees on the west side, so the wind out of the west hits them trees. 
and then hits the runway. <laughs> oh, west wind is the worst in our field. But uh, it's supposed to be really nice tomorrow. Really nice, and west don't have to work Mondays. And Calvin's got a bunch of sick leave built up. <laughs> So what I'm saying is I think we're going to go flying tomorrow because that is just beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. <coughs> oh, he wasn't even looking. Okay, there's my scene. Just beautiful. And see, it's where the saw was a little crooked, but we had to keep the board straight. So I got a bondo a little bit right there. And then the sides are just perfect. Bam! And I know a place to use this extra high saw. There's a good deal. There is a little place. Yeah, it's on that side. Right there. Oh, y'all just gonna have to back up. Gotta be careful here not to squirt it too hard and get it and glue all this wood together. Beautiful. Well, I mean, a little bit back here, anywhere. I don't think so, guys. I think I got everything glued so far. Okay, now this tray goes up in the nose up in here. It's on them sliders. I don't really want to install it until them noses, noses set up, but I kind of got to do a little building here because this don't actually go inside them. It sits on top, and you put a little piece of wood here that fits in that track and a little notch, so you can just slide it a little bit and take it out because you won't be able to go all the way back because of them landing gear mounts. You can't go forward because of them bulkheads. But it's set up to where you pull it just a little bit and it'll lift out with some screws in the back. Pretty cool little engineering setup, but I've been studying that dang uh, pictures on the computer all day. Now Calvin, old Flash, I gave him the CD last night and he was able to print out the text part, which is cool. Because that kept me from, because this was what really sucked is, uh, you know, get, finding a picture I don't understand. And then you got to click out of it and click on the reading part of it and find out what you don't understand. And then go back to the picture and try and sort through it, you know. And uh, this, is, this made it a lot easier. He tried to pin, print out the pictures but had a really hard time. He even uh, changed uh, the format or did something and still had a hard time, but this helps a lot. Just this, and once I get all the wood glued in, it's all downhill from there. 
and uh, I'm trucking though guys it's getting a little closer I can't wait to do the start on the glass and once I start on them wings and stabs I don't need the I don't need the instructions no more but that's my story and I'm sticking to it <laughs> but anyway we will see you guys back in the shop maybe from the flying field tomorrow hope so go get some flights on that F4 baby I got a full jug of jet fuel sitting right there just waiting to be made into jet exhaust <laughs> little magic trick make that jug of fuel disappear <laughs> we hope when we get up tomorrow and check the weather and uh, till then we will see you guys back